Hello and good morning friends. Welcome to Vlogtober day. I don't know what day it is. It's Tuesday. That's all I know. Uh, I'm just gonna make this quick because I'm about to go into yoga. So I just want to say hi. And now I'm going to yoga. <laughs> we'll talk more after. As you can see, I'm pretty red <laughs> and my ear is a mess. Um, it was a really good yoga class today. Uh, the instructor was Kindly, I think that's how you say her name. She's like one of the co-founders of Power Yoga Canada, so you know it's a good class when you have the co-founder as the instructor. So yeah, it was a really good class. Wow, I'm like tomato red. <laughs> yeah, I'm still in the matrix. I don't know if you can tell. Um, yesterday was supposed to be my last drive, but actually my dad's bringing it in to like sell it at noon so he was like just take it one more time so I was like okay so that's why I'm in the matrix again but it's actually leaving at noon so that's very sad I'm gonna go home and shower today I have a lot of stuff on my to-do list because on Sunday and Monday I definitely took those days off to like not do any work a garbage truck <laughs> um, I definitely took those days off to like actually do work not do work to actually have a break so which i really needed oh my god of course he's getting garbage you know so that means i have a lot on today's to-do list like uh writing today's blog post editing the vlog film some tiktoks hopefully that's three things and maybe if i have a chance do another makeup look so yes a lot on today's to-do list, so let's go home and eat some breakfast. Just finished my makeup um so i am currently working on a foundation roundup so i am going back and testing all of my foundations and seeing which one is my absolute favorite um because sometimes when you just wear a product you don't really take in like what it's like so anyways that's what i'm doing so today i'm wearing my physician's formula the healthy foundation which it's definitely one of my favorites and it was a yearly favorite like one year or whatever part of me keeps on thinking it's gonna be discontinued but so far it isn't i'm doing one side of my face with a sponge the other side with a brush oh there's a cat <laughs> oh okay no no And ugh, you can see the cat whiskers. <laughs> I'm gonna be using all of the same base products. It's the same primer. Oh my God, my cat's in the way. Same primer, setting spray, and face products. That way I can like really compare them. So I'll be taking before photos and then also photos, mm, maybe like five hours. And then once I take it off, we'll see. I'm still just figuring that out because this is the first one. So yes. Um, that is what I've done, and now I need to write today's blog post, which is going to be um, a roundup of all of my body moisturizers, and yeah, I'm just talking about which ones I like, which ones I don't like. See, my cat, she uh, is where my phone was. Rude girl, butting in the way. I've got not one, but two cats. Two cats on the bed. Even eat. Well. This one's sleeping. So I'm just currently editing my Thanksgiving vlog and I talk at one part about like my car and stuff. And I posted an Instagram yesterday about my car being like, you know, buy a car. 
and so many of my friends commented on my post just like sharing stories and memories I have of my car like friends from high school and university and I just thought it was really cute and sweet that you know it kind of shows that I'm not the only one who has good memories of the car I actually had two people text me being like what no you're getting rid of the matrix um so yeah it was a good it was a good first car that's for sure and I really did like it I definitely think that in the future once I get my own car I would consider going back to a Toyota Matrix. And also update, I have driven my mom's car again and it's not as bad as the first time. Definitely just took a little bit of getting used to it. So yeah, anyways, I'm editing the vlog and um, I'm just gonna like one run through it. I always run through it one more time after editing it just in case, but I usually play Animal Crossing while I do that. So I'm about to do that. Also, I'm looking super greasy. Something to note for my foundation roundup, so yes, anyways, that's what I'm doing. It's 4.30 now. This is what my afternoon has been like. So I finished um, with my video and Animal Crossing, and it's 5.30 now, and I kind of feel like still doing something productive, but the lighting isn't really ideal for shooting TikTok videos, so I think I'm actually going to do my bookshelves now. Um, yeah, because I have my books piled up over there and they keep on getting it away and they're really annoying. So I think I'm going to do my bookshelves. I haven't decided. I should probably dust all of them. Like take out all of the books and do a big dusting because my mom was saying that the dust probably contributes to my sinus headaches because I get those quite frequently. So anyways. I think it's time for to do it. Yeah, I'll do it. It's 5.30 now. If I do it, probably won't take me an hour. And then 6.30, yeah, okay, I'm gonna do that. Okay, so finished my reorganizing. I am so happy because all of my closets fit on one shelf, so that was perfect. Um, I didn't really change that much. I did end up having to double stack a bit though. Um, so there's a little bit of change like here. This got bumped down. Um, yeah, not that much different. What I did is that it's pretty rare, but sometimes I do have a series, like multiple books in a series before I've read it. So for example, I uh, see Gone. I had the first three of the Gone books and I haven't read them yet. So I originally had them all out, but I just put the other ones like back behind kind of thing. Or another example is um, the Outlander series. I have like the first four back there and I have like the later ones back there. So that's kind of how I did my double stacking. So yes, this is what it looks like. This is kind of like, these two are my October TBR, but I don't think I'm going to get around to them, but I will read them. And then here are some of the newer books that I have that I want to um read these three i purchased these two my mom purchased read and she loved so i will read them so yes book shelf update let me know in the comments if you want me to do like a full bookshelf tour like i can go through all of the books that i have let me know hello good morning i thought i would show you guys my skincare routine i'm gonna show you guys my morning skincare routine 
if you've ever read any of my skincare routine posts, you know that I do most of my skincare in the morning because at night I'm lazy and I'll just take off my makeup, slop on a moisturizer. So anyways, first we're going to start off with the old Hendrickson Truth Juice Daily Cleanser. I'm, you can kind of see I'm getting kind of low, so I'll probably need a new, a new cleanser soon. Just take a sport, I don't know. And rub it all over the face. And now I wait until my skin is dry. And I'm going to go in with my Ole Hendrickson Balancing Force Oil Control Toner. I'm going to take this on a reusable compad. I get it about this wet. And just wipe it all over my face. I really concentrate around my nose because I get a lot of like dirt build up there and my chin basically where I get a lot of texture and as you can see my face is like kind of a little damp but not that much so anyways I'm gonna also let this dry down okay now that my face is dry we're gonna go in with my oil serum because I heard or read one time that you want to do the things that you want to penetrate your skin the most first after toner. So that's my serum. If I'm putting on acne cream, I'll put that on first. But uh, right now it's not too bad. I'm too lazy to get it. So This is the Biosense Squalene Plus Vitamin C Rose Oil. It's hella expensive, but... I take four drops of this and I learned this from Jimmy Page I believe that you put it in your palm that way you don't put the dipper straight on your face because that can like contaminate so then I squish my palms and go like this and I push it into my face like so I concentrate most of it here because this is where I get most of my acne scarring and now we wait for this to dry there's a lot of drying so i usually will walk back and forth in between my room and do things in my room like pick up my clothes tidy up while i do my skincare okay so it's basically drying to my skin but as you can see this serum really gives that like doing dewiness and glowiness to the skin i'm um, next we're going with moisturizer and eye cream so i'm just trying to use up this origins one, I've had this for a really long time. It's probably expired, but it still works. So, this is the Origins Matte Moisturizer with Willow Bark. This is the texture. And I, the eye cream I'm using is the Origins Jingzing Refreshing Eye Cream to Brighten and Depuff. So, I just scoop out a bit like this. Like so. I just rub it in. If I have any extra, bring it down my neck. And then for the eye cream, I go under the eyes and I also go on the eyelids as well. And then, um, depending on the day, I'll put on a lip balm as well. But since I'm drinking tea right now, we're gonna skip that. So I'm gonna get dressed now. Hello, okay. Time to do my makeup and let me chat a bit. Um, yes, let me put on my eyeshadow primer. Okay, so today's foundation is going to be the Fenty Beauty, what are you called again? Pro Filter Soft Matte Polymer Foundation. So we're going full coverage today. I don't know if you like doing a full coverage look. So today's to-do list. I'm going to shoot some TikToks because that was on yesterday's and I didn't finish that. And then I need to go to Rexall to pick up a subscription and a couple other things like I'm out of toothpaste almost. <laughs> so 
So toothpaste is important. So is my prescription. So we gotta go get that. Um, and then after that, we'll see what I feel like doing. I don't feel like filming the video today, so I won't be doing that. Because I don't think my boxy charm is gonna make it for me to film it for this weekend. I think it's in Canada at least, but I don't think I'll get here till like Friday. Mm, yeah, it's currently in Canada's post induction center, but that was on the 10th, so no, I don't think I'm gonna get it here on time to film this week. So, my thoughts for this week's video is I want to try and do a Halloween makeup look, like a crazy one. But I'm like no pro when it comes to crazy makeup, so it would be less of a tutorial and more of like a watch me try and probably fail to do this. Um, I have this like crazy look that I have in mind. I can work on my editing skills and try and put a picture like right here of the inspo that I have, but it's like a half pumpkin face and I have to block my brows to do the look so that's something I've never done so that's why I want to challenge myself with it but um I have no idea if it's gonna work out but yes I have to I don't feel like doing that today so I'm just not I think I'll do that tomorrow and instead I think later this afternoon I might do another look with my um, Cash Beauty palette. I'm gonna do like a tutorial on Instagram and then that way if I have another look then I can write my Cash Beauty review because that's something I also have to do tomorrow slash Friday so I think that's the plan. But the only thing is that if I end up doing the cash beauty tutorial that I'm gonna have to take off all this makeup so I might have to test this foundation two days in a row we'll see oh also my mom and I watched we were watching great British Bake Off but I realized it's the last season but we haven't seen the last season for some reason like C CBC always airs the seasons like late I don't know maybe because we're not in Canada and it just takes like a year it's for the for them to get the rights or something i have no idea but anyways that was really exciting we watched it last night so like it's season 10 it's on and i googled it and it's not the same people but as this current season but anyways i was very happy i really like that show so okay i'm now going to time lapse the rest <clears throat> of a makeup because i have nothing else to say so let's do that. So it is 1.30 now, um, I filmed my TikToks, I did three videos, I like to kind of batch make my content, content for TikTok because I like to post about every other day so it's a lot to like make content every other day so I did that and then by the time I was done it didn't take me that long and I didn't want to eat lunch then so I decided to um right at the draft for my cash beauty blog post um i'm not done yet but i still want to do one more eyeshadow look and use like a couple more shades and then i also still have one more pair of lashes to try out but i did have my thoughts about some of the other products so i kind of just like wrote out a draft and then just put in the areas that i still need to put in my thoughts i'm wearing the lipstick right now i haven't like worn it for a prolonged period of time yet i've only worn it for like a photo kind of thing and i'm kind of getting that like 
I know people call it the butthole effect, which is like not the best name, but it's kind of, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of fading from the inside of my mouth. It's just kind of surprising that it's happening because usually that happens only when you eat or drink and I haven't done any of that. So yeah, that's not the greatest. And it's also a pretty dry formula. Like my lips feel really dry. At least they don't look dry, but yeah. So update, I'm not the biggest fan of this lipstick honestly I'm still so miffed by the fact that this is called rose nude even though this is not rose at all if you ask me like it's a lovely shade but I just can't get over the fact that it's not rose and all three of the lipsticks just look so similar so anyways I am going to eat lunch now and go do some errands you know actually go to Rexall now <laughs> And then I think when I get back home, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a tutorial on my stories and do my last look with the Cash Beauty palette, and then go on a run because I didn't feel like going on a run this morning, so I'm gonna go on one this evening. Maybe have a bath after that. I'm currently balancing on my dashboard because um, so I got a bunch of stuff from Rexall. This lady is like on the phone right across from me as I'm just talking anyways um i didn't bring a bag in so i'm gonna like bag everything as i do it we're gonna do a little haul so first look i found my ardell <laughs> uh foam ink wispies demi wispies so i'm very happy because i have my favorites back in my life guess i didn't need to do a funeral and then i got two sheet masks because my supply is pretty low um, this is the Yes to Cucumbers Calming Paper one, and this is the Yes to Coconut Moisturizing Med Mask. Oh, these were the ones on sale. I only buy them if they're on sale. Then, on stories, I asked you guys for moisturizing recommendations, and someone recommended the St. Ives one. So this is the 24-hour restoring uh, almond and flaxseed oil body lotion. And I decided to get this scent because I love almond. Not super almondy, but we'll uh, test it out. And we got my prescription, which is birth control. Um, my receipt. I got my shampoo. This is the Maui. Curl Quench Plus Coconut Oil Hydrating Shampoo for Curly Hair. Then I got Toothpaste. I usually get the Crest Sensitive one, but they didn't have it, so I decided to try this Colgate Optic White with Charcoal. I think this is a French side. <laughs> English with Charcoal. So we'll try this out. I think it's like black. Who knows? Um, yeah. Sorry, Shane, you're gonna have to, my brother, he, we share the same toothpaste, so he's gonna have to use that. And then finally, I got bubble bath. This is a Dr. Teal's shea butter and almond oil, because if you can't tell, I love almonds. Nice, not too strong. Oh, I just got the almond. Oh, it smells great. I didn't want something like too, I thought this would be nice because this could go with like uh, a ton of different bath bombs because I like to use bath bombs, but I also like to have bubbles as well. Here, I'll hold you up now that I'm done. Um, I also got my flu shot, so um, which is great. I got really lucky that when I went, there was no one there, so I didn't have to wait at all. It was actually funny because right after me, someone came and they're like, yeah, you're going to have to wait half an hour. I'm like sucks for you but um it was also funny because it was all of the older people asking for the high dose and also the one pharmacist was on the phone the whole entire time talking to people who are like do you have the high dose no we don't have the high dose uh they only have the regular one right now so if you are young which is the majority of my viewers most of you guys are not over the age of 65 if you're young you can go get the regular flu shot um, at least at, I went to Rexall and apparently they're at Walmart already and I'm sure they're at Shoppers. Um, if you're unsure whether or not to get the flu shot, I highly recommend. I have been getting it since I was in grade 12. I didn't get it as a kid. Um, 
Then when I went to university, I never got the flu. I had lots of other illnesses, but I didn't get the flu because I had the flu shot. Um, and also last year when I came back from Europe, I got the flu, probably on the airplane. And I remember talking to my doctor about it, being like, oh, like, I got the flu shot, but I still got the flu. But she said it was because of my flu shot that I got really lucky that I was only sick for about, like, really sick for two days. And then after that, I was starting to get better. Like, I was still a little sick, but because I got the flu shot, it really helped lessen my flu and the flu-like symptoms. Long story short, get the flu shot because it helps you not get the flu and even if you do get the flu sometimes it really helps lessen it so that's my rant on the flu shots and especially with the pandemic they're saying that they really want people to get the flu shots because they don't want to have two pandemics of flu and covid so now that i'm done at rexall of course i told my mom that i'm leaving the house and she asked me to go get stuff for her. She asked me to run errands, classic. So I have to go to Metro, even though it's nowhere near where I am. So I also have to do that. But first, I've seen this new little cafe. It's like a French patisserie. If I uh, have good French pronunciation. It's a French bakery. So I'm going to check it out and see if they have any cute stuff and there's also this little shop not that far away that I want to go to because I want to get um new reusable cotton pads so let's go do that here we go mm, hi have you been here all afternoon you love afternoon hey okay I just finished my little insta tutorial this is the final look. I'm not a huge fan of these lashes. Well, see here's the thing. I find with every single pair that from afar, they look pretty good, but like up close, they're like meh, and they're like popping off again. So I'm still not sure how to feel about it. I'm about to take this makeup off. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of crazy because I did my makeup today and then took it off to do this and I'm gonna take it off again Guys, I think I'm gonna go on run now, which is great timing because I definitely feel the caffeine from my chai tea latte like hitting me now, like I have energy, so it'll be good to go on a run and get that energy out. I just ran 5K, woo! Well, technically 5.3K in 53 minutes. So yeah, um, pretty good I'm mean, like a meter a minute I guess is the rate so now I know my time and now we're gonna work on beating it and I'm gonna have a bath My cat is so loud. Why? Why are you so happy? Good time. Hello. So, I wasn't particularly starving this morning, so I made myself uh, avocado toast with an egg on top, and I swear. I don't always eat avocado toast. I do eat other things for breakfast. I just feel like every single time I do. That's why I show you guys. I also got some experience. I'll eat some of those. So I'm gonna read the paper. Okay guys, so today's to-do list is I'm about to film a video. So that's what I'll be doing for the next couple of hours. Oh, I need to apply to jobs. That was the thing that I forgot yesterday. That I was like, oh my god, I have so much free time. It's because I was supposed to apply to jobs. After that, kind of either today or tomorrow, we'll see like how much gets done where. I need to finish up my blog post, edit the video that I'm about to film, the Halloween video, and edit the blog. So that'll be kind of Thursday, Friday. So I'm about to start filming now. It is 
11, 10, let's see how long it takes me to do this Halloween look. Oh boy. Hey guys, here is the finished makeup look. A little sneak peek because I think this vlog is going up before the video, so you know what is coming. I spent two hours doing this. Like literally, my video is two hours long. It is not gonna be fun to edit whatsoever. I do like how it turned out though. I think I did a pretty good job. Also, the fact that like, I have the time in the middle of the day to spend two hours doing this. Like, you know, all my friends are working or doing school and here I was for two hours doing this. Oh, the unemployed life. I'm gonna look for jobs after lunch. <laughs> Anyways, I now need to take a bunch of photos and videos because, you know, the fact that I did this, I need evidence of it. I also wanted to show my mom, but she's grocery shopping right now and she doesn't get home soon. Like, I'm not waiting for her that long because I'm hungry. Okay, guys, it's time to take off the makeup. <laughs> Wish me luck. right after I wash it off. Okay. So, we're gonna go in with the oily one now. Okay. Now let's wash the face. So, what have I done? I had lunch after I was done my makeup look. My mom came home with sushi, so that was nice. Um, and then I've been applying to jobs. So now it's almost 4.20, it's 4.17. I was thinking of going to yoga today, but, ooh, actually, give me one second. This worked out beautifully. So I was just about to say that um, I was thinking of originally going to the 4.30 class because, like, yoga class, but because I just finished applying to jobs and I still have more work that I wanted to do today, I wasn't going to go, but then I just checked and the instructor that I like has a 6 o'clock class, so I'm going to go to that one because it works out perfectly because I'll do some work, I'll go to the yoga class, and then I'll come home and it'll be dinner time, so, yes, oh so happy that means i can still get a workout today because it is raining so i'm not gonna go on a run <laughs> awesome okay so i'm going to the vlog uh it's going to be like this vlog so it's going to be tuesday wednesday thursday and i think i have enough content to make it so i'm going to try and have it done for tomorrow but we'll see we'll see if i can uh get it done because if I do like edit Tuesday, Wednesday and like Thursday morning that means tomorrow I just need to add all the clips from Thursday evening and then export it and all of that stuff and then that way tomorrow I just have to finish the blog post and edit my video for Sunday. Um, yeah, because I'm really trying to get better at finishing all of my work on the weekend. I have a habit of 
saw having to do work on Saturday. So we'll see. I mean, obviously once like October is done, it'll be a little easier because, you know, it's less videos to edit, but yeah. Anyways, okay, cool. Let's do that. So I'm about to head into yoga, but I must say that I, ooh, <laughs> I have the heat on in my car and like the butt seat and like, mm, I'm all cozy. I don't want to get out of the car. It's such a gray, rainy day, but anyways. But then this is kind of the nice time of the year to go to yoga because then I'll go in the studio and you just feel the heat like it's like well it's hot yoga so it's like a warm sauna and the feeling on my like cold feet so i love it anyways uh i'm gonna head on in it's dark outside can you believe it it's um seven o'clock and it's already like pitch black i mean it doesn't help that it rained today but yeah i had to turn on my light to do this so Makes me look even more red. But I had a really good yoga class. And I'm gonna go home, have a shower, and yeah, that's it. But I forgot to finish the vlog last night, so I'm doing that now. Um, yeah, I'm just saying bye. <laughs> Thank you for watching if you've made it this far. Please let me know in the comments if there's anything you want me to see, do in the vlog, or talk about in the vlog. I said this last time, but you know, I can do a bookshelf tour. I don't miss skincare in this one, but I'm gonna talk about so many different things. Please let me know, or vice versa, please let me know in the comments anything that you've been liking and you want me to see do more. Do you want me to do more walks? Do you want me to you know, keep on including my makeup? Please let me know and just commenting on my videos really helps and liking and engaging with my content really shows me what you guys like to see and what I should do more of so yeah that's it you'll see me like this in the beginning of the next vlog so bye guys see you next time ooh, 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 ooh.